This is a, another sort of very standard calculation. In this case, what we're trying to do is work out what mass we need of sodium chloride of salt to make up a 500 mL solution, which is at 150 millimolar. So to do this sort of calculation, you need the equation mass, that's what we want to know, is equal to the molarity of the solution that we need times the volume that we need times the formula weight, the molecular weight of the, the substance, the chemical that we're going to measure out. So that's relatively straightforward to do. So all we need to do is identify from this statement the molarity, in this case 150 millimolar, 150. Multiply that by the volume. So we need the volume, 500 mils. Multiply by the formula weight, 58.5. So formula weight is given in, a, in units of grams per mole per liter. So what we actually have to do is convert our different our concentration into mol into moles and our volume into liters. So what we'll do now is, is do that. So our 150 millimolar is 0 0.15 moles. And we'll multiply that by 500 mils in liters, so 0 0.5 liters. And then we're still multiplying by 58.5 grams per liter. So once you do that, plug it into your calculator, you get 4.3875 grams, which you would then go and weigh out, add volume to until you got to 500 mils. So that's relatively straightforward, and you can imagine plugging in those different numbers in different scenarios. When it comes to the, the actual doing it hands-on in the lab, I might use a slightly different thought process. Now, sodium chloride with 58.5 is not, not a great example for this, but I just want to talk through what my, where my head would be at. So I pick up my bottle and I look at it and I, and I see my 58.5. And that tells me if I put 58.5 grams in one litre, then I'd have a one molar solution, which I only need 500 mils. So I need 58.5 divided by two would give me our would give me uh, five hundred mils of, of of one molar. But I actually don't want one molar. What I want is 150 millimolar. So if I do fifty-eight point five so 150 is 0 0.15, so fifty-eight point five so fifty eight point five multiplied by 0 0.15 would, would give me my 150 millimolar and 500 mils. And that, of course, gives me the same number, 4.3875. Now, it's the same equation. It's just the different sort of thought process of getting to the same answer. I, I personally find it useful if I'm... I don't want to get a calculator out, I don't want to write anything down. I can do these sorts of things in my head rel relatively rapidly. Um, obviously, when you first start in the lab, write everything down. Okay, uh, that's this.